Hello friends, in this video we are going to see 15 tips and tricks in MS Word. While working on MS Word document, you must know some tips and tricks to work faster on your document. First one is the insert random text. Let's see how to insert random text in your document. Just press equal to R A N D and like this. Now if you want to insert one paragraph just like this you can insert one more paragraph. Now if you want to insert random like this equal to random and only the curve bracket enter and then enter. Here you can see it's inserted a random text. Next one is the double click. Now if you want to select any word now you have to just put a cursor over there and double click on it. You can see the whole word is selected. Now the next thing if I want to select the whole paragraph then wherever you want to put a cursor just put the cursor in between somewhere your paragraph and triple click and you can see the whole paragraph is selected. Now it's very useful thing when you want to select particular word and particular paragraph. The next trip that is the annoying lines. Now if you want to put some lines in between the two paragraphs there is a simple trick you must be knowing that is only three times you have to do like this and it will create a line in between the two paragraphs. Now basically this is not a line it's whenever you want to remove it if you want to remove it just after introducing that line you can just simply press the control Z but whenever you are proceed in your document and then you realize that that this line is not useful at that time removing this line is very problematic and annoying now here you can see I cannot delete this line basically this is not a line this is a paragraph border so you have to put a cursor over there click on the paragraphs and click on the no borders and it will get erased so this is a trick mostly don't know by the users next one is the knowing the complexity now when you create some document you must know the complexity of that document so that who is going to read that document or uh, for whom you are creating a document that you can decide. So for that you have to click on the file, click on the option, click on the proofing, click on the show readability statistics and click OK. Now if you are using earlier versions there is a button that is a F7 for Microsoft Word like this and uh, that is the readability statistics now here you can see readability the passive sentence is 0% and the now this readability is with this line only now if you want to check the, for the whole document then you have to press the control A then F7 and yes then it will show the passive sentence is 16% and the grade level is 10%. So this passive statement should be more than 50% to be able to read by any person who is opening that document. And this grade level means above the 10 standard anyone can understand the written text. So whenever you are creating any document you must check this readability so that for whom you are creating a document is it uh, useful for that person you can take a account of it so that is the knowing the complexity of your document next one is the change default font now if you want to set some default font for your word document whenever you start typing a document uh, then it should start with a, some default font so for that you have to click on the this then here you have to select the text now if I select this text as my default and then set as a default and if you want to apply this 
to this document only select this and if you want to apply this all document you can select this and just click ok so whenever you open a new document it will always start typing with this font only so this is useful when you have some uh, restriction for the font in your company or in your school then you can use the change default font next one is the landscape and the portrait page in the same document so sometimes it may happens you have a document in which uh, some of the part require a portrait and some of the part require a landscape now if you have some uh, like something like a table which should be in the larger platform then you have to create like insert page layout break section break next page now from here the section is created now you have to select that click on the orientation and the landscape now here you can see other pages are in the portrait mode and this last page is only in landscape mode so in this way you can create a landscape and portrait page in the same document next one is the adding a serial number to the tables now if you have this kind of table and you want to insert this kind of numbering then you have to put it in the manner like one by one so now i will remove the numbering and if i want to insert some numbering then i have to put it like this so this will create a problem so when you have a bigger table then you must use this trick just select that column like this click on the home click on the numbering and it will directly insert the numbers or the serial numbers which you want to insert in that column so this one is the trick very useful next one is the text to speech if you want to convert your text into a speech then you have to click on the customize quick access toolbar click on the more commands click on the all commands search here speak if you want to select uh, speak just press s and it will give you option speak just select and add it and click ok now when you select any text and click on that speak it will speak that text next one is the pin to open file list now when you click on the file click on the recent now here you can see on the right hand side there is a pin available so if you want to work on any document frequently then just click on this pin it will come in the top of your recent documents when you are done with that document you can unpin that pin and it will go back into the list so that is the use of pin to the open file list now if you want to translate your text into any other language then select the text click on that click on the translate and it will search for you now you are want to convert english to hindi and it will convert it to the hindi now if you want to insert instead of that english you can insert it just by clicking it you can see the translate is converted into that now the next one is the calculate uh, there is one more way to translate there is a option available in the review tab also that is a translate you can translate from there also and you can right click on the text and you can get the translate next one is the calculate now if you want to calculate any number like 5 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 25 within a word then how to calculate for that just click over there click on more commands click on all commands and select here calculate once you select it add it click ok now if i want to calculate this number i will click on that and i will click on the formula and it will show the answer in the status bar here you can see 375 if i want to change the number i can change again i will select it and i will click on the calculate now here you can see the answer 53 is a 
15. So in this way you can use the formula within your MS Word document just like the MS Excel. Next one is the customized status bar. If you right click on the status bar here there is a multiple options available you can check that or uncheck that so that will be available on your status bar now if I click on the zoom like this it will be removed like this so if I want if I will keep it if I don't want I will uncheck it like this so in this way you can add multiple things and remove from there next one is the zoom in and zoom out using control key now if you want to zoom in and zoom out every time you have to click over here and like this you have to zoom in and zoom out but there is a shortcut way for zooming and zoom out if you have a mouse within you then there is a scroller button available on mouse you have to press the control key and move that scroller button on your mouse and it will increase and decrease or zoom in or zoom out the document which you have so that is the use of control key for zooming and zoom out now insert a file path now if you want to insert any text from another document then what you have to do you have to copy that document and paste it over here so one very useful way to insert anything insert click on the object click on the object like this now text from the file now where you want to insert that text just select that location so I want that text here so I will select the position click on the object click on the text from file now I want to insert like this I will insert the text directly to the location where I want to insert I don't need to copy it and paste it I just click on the objects and I can do that one more thing you can do is you can click here click on the customize and from more commands you can put it in the quick access toolbar all commands and file you can select the file path from here and you can use it in your customize toolbar also so if you want you can use it from here or if you want you can use it directly in an insert click on the object and text from that file so these are the 15 tips and tricks you must know while working within a ms word so these are very useful to work on your document so whenever you require to do the documentation very fast these are the helpful tips and tricks for the ms word thank you